Hey everyone, Janie here, and today I'm going to share my little haul I got from Craft Warehouse. And for those of you who don't know this already, Craft Warehouse is my most favorite ever craft store to shop at. I love it. But there's a problem. There isn't one anywhere near me, but there is one near my oldest daughter, and she loves her mommy. And we virtual shop together. And for those of you who don't know what virtual shopping is, we use our phones and we Skype. If she had an iPhone, we'd FaceTime, but she doesn't. So we Skype and she walks around the store and she shows me everything, especially things she knows I'm going to be interested in. And I get to go, ooh, ah, put that in the basket. I want that. And that is virtual shopping. So let's go take a look at the goodies that just arrived in the mail today. Okay, let's start with the most expensive thing that I got. Normally $5.99, it was $3, and these are absolutely beautiful chipboard embellishments. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. They're so pretty. I couldn't resist. I only wanted things that were a dollar or less, but I couldn't resist this one. So this is the most expensive thing I got for $3. And next, you're going to see some things that you have already seen before. Hold on a second here while I pull them out. I'm just going to pull out one, but I got eight. Eight, yeah, eight of these clipboards. They're only a dollar each. And let me show you what I have made with them before, in case you haven't seen my videos. So I'll just bring them both in. Hold on a second here. These are just one thing that you can do with those. I made these cute little clipboards. They have little pockets here that you could put stuff in. Um, this one was actually made to go by our front door so that we can put mail in, outgoing mail, and not forget to take it with us to the post office. And this one was for my craft room. When I get pretty cards from my friends, I can stick them in there so I don't lose them. So that's just something you can do with those clipboards. And like I said, I got eight of those, okay? I got four of these, and it's because I still have some left over from last time, and I absolutely love these journals, and so if you want to see what I make with these, I'm going to put a picture right here for you. And I only got one of these, and you may ask why. Well, it's because I still haven't used the ones I got last time. So I'm trying to open this up and show you. Oh, come on. And by the way, this, as well as the clipboards and the, um, the journals, they're all only a dollar each. One dollar, perfect for altering. Look at this. It's got paper and a pen in there. So perfect for altering and making beautiful gifts. You'll see one of these days I'll do a video on this. I've already done it on the clipboards and on the journal, so this will be next. Now for the things that I paid 50 cents each for. <laughs> and I should have got more, but these are more chipboard little embellishments, things, you know, to put on journals or... I don't know, just things that you alter. I haven't decided yet what they're going on. I just know that they're just cute and perfect and I'm gonna find uses for these things. So 50 cents, you can't beat that. These are little metal tags. And let me see, there's six of them in here. And this was 50 cents. And I think this is gonna come in really great for something masculine or something steampunk or, you know, something vintage. So I'll find uses for those too. Really cool, 50 cents for that pack. I just thought that these were kind of pretty. So another 50 cent thing with some buttons. All right, so there's my 50 cent items. And now let's get to the things that were 33 cents. Woo, okay. <laughs> just throw them all in here. They say 50 cents on that tag, but they were actually 33 cents. And these are just 
beautiful flowers. Pink is my favorite color. I use pink a lot. A little, you know, adhesive. Or you could add your own adhesive to the back. But these were just awesome. So I got six of them. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I got six of these. Wish I would have got more. I think I'm going to have my daughter go pick up some more because that's just a great deal. And then these were also 33 cents each. And they are just these sparkly brads. I got some of these last time, but I had to get more because I just love them. I love brads. I love things that sparkle. They didn't have any pink or I would have got pink. So all of this stuff, I'm going to start moving it over here for you. All of this stuff that you see here, plus four journals, eight clipboards, and one of those other little notebooks with a pen. All of that was only $21, and that included tax because she went shopping in Washington instead of Oregon. What am I gonna do with her? Anyways, all of this basically for 20 bucks, I love it, love it, love it. I could have got a lot more, but two reasons I didn't. One is that, well, I'm kind of on a timeout from buying stamps and papers, and I have more embossing folders that I'm going to need ever, but they had so many things on sale there. You don't know how tempting it was. I mean, you know, embossing folders for $2 and $1 and, and stamps half off and paper packs for a dollar and $2. I mean, just, oh my gosh, so many amazing things, tons of stuff for a dollar, tons of stuff that was three for a dollar. And I had to control myself. And the other reason is I didn't want the box to get too big that she had to send. So if you don't live near a craft store, find somebody you would love to go virtual shopping with and happy crafting. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone.